Hi guys, I thought today I'd show you what can be done with a, a 2007 Kia Sorento diesel. Let's have a look inside first. The space, the cargo boot, is huge as you can probably see. What I'm going to show you is how easy it is to turn it into a bug out vehicle. When I say a bug out vehicle, I mean if you're on, on a journey, so let's say to the Highlands, and you need to stop over for a sleep, this vehicle actually gives you privacy with the privacy glass and the overlap uh, shields with the windows open for ventilation, a winter sleeping bag and an airbed. This area here is big enough for me certainly to lie out and have a really good sound sleep in comfort. So let's show you how this can become a, a micro camper and be used for stealth sleeping either in the middle of a busy city, in a car park or in the middle of a forest uh, during inclement conditions. So I'd call this a potential bug out vehicle. Got it for 3,000 quid or just under. Potentially would have quite a bit of life still left in it. So it's not the cheapest investment, but you know. So let's have a look at the space inside this 4x4. Uh, before I show you the space, I'm going to show you the cockpit as well. It's quite impressive. So streamlines, high up, easy to get in and out, uh, quality kit. This is not the first Kia I've had. I like them for the quality. The quality is very similar to a, a top-end um, you know, Volvo. I rather like this. This is an automatic and uh, so it's effortless to drive. Underneath I have here enough storage space for what I need. Throw over blanket, an air bed and hanging on the back chair is a sleeping bag. So let's set up and see what it looks like. Cheap seven pound job from Lidl's, does the business. Put it on this side, which is narrower, leaving loads of space on this side. So I'm just gonna pop that chair back, because it's a good sitting area and a place to do your admin sleep on the left side of the vehicle rather than on the spacious right side of the vehicle. So let's put that together. It's looking good. I prefer my head at this end of the vehicle with the rain pattering on the, the glass at the back. So that's the bed made up and uh, sleeping bag ready for use. So for a quick nap on a journey you can lie flat here and not be seen by anybody. What I normally do is if I am doing this stealth napping in the afternoon somewhere I'll put this black uh, fleece between the two chairs. So the black fleece acts as a sort of screen and uh, the armrest acts as a kind of shelf Right, that's a set up, didn't take very long. I did it all inside 10 minutes. It could be done in five or six minutes if you're in a hurry. Um, or you could prepare before you head off on your journey, pull over, crash out, that's it, simple as that. But what I like about stealth vehicle is, this is not a camper van obviously, and it doesn't look like one. And the whole point being that you just merge in the thousands of other vehicles that are parked around you in any street or car park. With complete privacy glass, you'd be very hard pushed at night time to see anybody inside that vehicle. It's so covert, I like that. And again, you can open both windows to degree. This, this, this one's open, it's got at least two or three inches gap uh, from here to here uh, for fresh oxygen. And yet a glance, at a glance, the vehicle looks like it's secured. Let's now try it out. One of the other great things about having a chair up like this is easy access. And of course if you wear black like I am, you just disappear once you get inside. And the view you have at night time or early morning is the skylight. You can see what the weather is. The whole thing is just very appealing, I think you'll agree. Push myself into the vehicle. And there we have it, completely stretched out, 
Okay, uh, it's just five foot seven to the soles of the feet, so I like to use the side of the chairs to uh, stretch if I feel like it. Of course, during the night we tend to bend our knees and roll onto our preferred side. But you know, we all move around in our sleep, and the thing is to be able to have the flexibility and the comforts of a normal sleep arrangement. So, looking around the inside of the vehicle, the back view window, um, I've put blinds up so it's even more difficult for anyone to shine a torch and see what's going on. And uh, from the outside, these windows do look almost jet black. And the space here is ideal for keeping your bergen, your bits and pieces, lots of space here. You could even take a dog with you and I have a basket here, a small dog. So this is, for me, uh, a really nice micro-camper uh, potential and uh, I can guarantee that you do get good sleep in here because I've tried it. So uh, that's all I have to say about this. This is the 2007 diesel automatic Kia uh, Sorento. So uh, until next time, happy camping. Oh, before I go, I forgot to mention that a while back I did a video with the similar vehicle to this, but it was a Vauxhall Safira. Again, they are very similar to this. The Safiras I highly recommend for camping as well because they're just a nice size and they, they merge in with Suburbia beautifully so that nobody knows you're in. And one afternoon I was trying it out, I had a half hour nap between shifts, pulled the car over near a quite big building site actually, not realising there's a security officer watching me. I jumped out of the vehicle, ran round it and slipped in the back door, closed it and locked. I rolled, rolled out into the mat and dozed off. And suddenly I realised there was a fluorescent colour walking around the vehicle, not touching it, but trying to peer in. But because the windows were black, he couldn't see anything. But I could see the reflection of the, of the, the high-vis jacket uh, occasionally in the sun reflecting into the ceiling area as he walked around the vehicle, but he could not see where I'd gone. Obviously he'd watched me on CCTV uh, get out of the vehicle, walk around and then disappear, and then he wanted to move me on. And of course he couldn't see any sign of life anywhere, so that was the end of that. So I just sat quietly like a wild animal in a forest, kept my head down until the danger passed. Result. Happy days that was. So that's what I like about uh, a vehicle of this type is nobody knows that anybody is in here because it looks so incredibly normal from the outside. So until next time guys and girls, get up to mischief, have a bit of fun and look as normal as possible even if you're not. <laughs> Cheerio back Bryn from me. Goodbye.